Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to episode 12 of my New Zealand Warriors crew mode. It's, we're in season 3, so fair way through, and uh, a lot of the teams are fairly different. As you can see here, uh, Panthers in fourth spot now. Initially, when very first started, and as I was planning on saying in this video, I was going to say that Panthers aren't that great of a side, but uh, judging off, you know, the league position and all that sort of stuff, they are quite good, although we'll say the, you know, the table is, uh, or the ladder, I should say, is uh, fairly weird on this, like a lot of a lot of teams that you would think should be up there aren't there, um, so should make for an interesting uh, final series for us. So um, we're definitely going to be there, whether we are uh, kind of undefeated. There's always going to be the final series for us. We, you know, we pretty much already made it, uh, though uh, undefeated is what we're definitely going for. Uh, however, uh, we need to obviously beat Panthers to do that. Uh, we didn't get off to a great start, but then Ether did Penrith, as you can see there, uh, spilling the ball pretty early on after we kicked it out on the full here. And Conrad, Conrad Harrell in a lot of space here. Uh, he does get brought down, uh, but does get an offload away to Bill Tupo. And as uh, Tupo, I've noticed a few times here, Tupo has gotten space and has got brought down. Uh, thankfully here, we're going to take advantage of it. Mentoring just gets a nice little ball here to Harrell. Can't quite make it to the trial line. Uh, but that's not where the play is going to end. Mara is going to throw a terrible pass here. Uh, Jesse Bromwich, I believe it is. Maybe it is Kenny. I'm not really sure. Uh, that's the, the bad thing about this game. Picking out brothers and that sort of stuff. I don't know who's who. Uh, anyways, he got brought down. Now we have one final chance in the half. Vatavai. Uh, we just chanced our arm there. Just thought we'd run for it. We could have uh, possibly kicked a field goal or something, but went the short side. Uh, with Vatavai, him throwing the intercept or whatever, that was just us hoping for the best, really, more than anything. Thankfully, they didn't race away with the intercept or whatever. Uh, Kevin Locke's going to go a brilliant pass there. Gets a little inside ball there to Vatavai, and that's our first try of the game. Uh, there's going to be no mistake like Brett Stewart did uh, straight straight down. Um, no worries there. So 4-0. Can it become 6? Let's take a look. Looking pretty good so far, and it's straight over. Sean Johnson. I, I don't really know the stats, but i got to say he's probably only missed a handful of kicks uh, thus far um, this season. Um, not quite going undefeated, or un, you know, He's not going to go 100%, but going to go pretty close. Bill Tupo, once again, getting brought down. I do have to, have to say, Penrith do have a fair few flyers, but then, once again, just not dying with the ball, something that I tend to do a lot of the time. Instead of just taking the tackle, I uh, always try to offload, and, you know, it happens quite often. We end up throwing the, I'm not throwing an intercept, or we end up um, spilling the ball, just dropping it. Um, Panthers here had quite a nice little play down the short side there. Uh, we did hold on though, and uh, that's just what we keep doing. We've got the lead. We just need to hold on, play smart, uh, and not throw intercepts, which is what we keep doing. Uh, there's going to be a nice little play here. Um, they're just going to go down here. Gareth Widdop, who's actually in the squad for them, um, gets you know really nice play there. Gets it offload. Uh, we did end up giving away a penalty, um, and then Madalena, I think it was, comes up with a huge hit there. So full time it is, and we take. We take the bait, really. I thought for sure he was passing it. Wanted to get there first with, um, who was my center? Was it Nielsen that side? I think it's Nielsen that side. Just wanted to race across, and that was just a terrible read for me. And, uh, you know, I have, I'm going to admit, in the Southford series, you know, I have thrown a game, but this was 100% not me throwing a game. Didn't want to take this extra time. Just uh, why waste of time, to be honest with you. Um, so just clearing that up for people, because, uh, you know, it's just one of those tries where it's like, really, you missed that tackle? But, um, yeah, maybe, maybe it didn't happen. I was just putting that in people's mind. Um, but you can see there, we threw a terrible pass there. Uh, thankfully, what happened was, I didn't show it because it would have just taken up too much time. But we just raced up on them. I think they, they made the kick. They made probably about five metres that set. So, got nowhere near in range here. And then, uh, we're just going to go. We nearly even score a try just then. Um, setting up for a field goal, possibly. Uh, but we decided to go to the short side. And uh, we just got tackled there. And that's the end of the first half of extra time. And uh, I'm not really sure. I've never really considered what sort of happens um, if we end up drawing it. Does the undefeated streak still count? Uh, thankfully, it doesn't really matter as Simon Mannering is just going to go through. And um, funnily enough, the same sort of situation happened, you know, that they scored and benefited from where I just made a bad read and just ran past them without even, you know, laying a finger on them. That happened to them with uh, Lock on Coot. Just, I don't know what he was doing. I didn't even change direction. So, uh, a bit comical there. I also saw more of just thinking of taking the tackle. Um, taking a little bit further into a middle than slotting, a, slotting the field goal, but thankfully that didn't have to happen, although I would have backed us to keep that field goal had it come down to that. Um, anyways, moving on to the second game, um, you know, the streak's alive, we've been playing pretty well, although I will have to say it's one of uh, the most nervy games probably. Uh, I'd say the Bulldogs game we played before was a very tough one, uh, there was a Knights game that was pretty tough as well, um, but in terms of, you know, 
this could come to an end. That was it. Uh, although the Storm game, definitely a danger game. They've got a lot of good players. Um, possibly one of the best sides in here. they still got Brett Finch and all that sort of stuff. Proctor's there. Great, great player. I uh, think for us, we've also got a lot of great players there. I believe that was Kevin Locke on the receiving end. Oh, sorry. It was Sean Johnson. Uh, my bad. Uh, he was just on the receiving end of, you know, a great run. And uh, just backing up as, you know, any good half should. Uh, or, or the best halves anyways. Um, so, Sean Johnson scores the try and converts his own try as well. So, uh, a great start to the game by Johnson. And then Harrell, they're in the right center position, gets it to Tupo. Uh, can't push away anymore, but um, yeah. So, they're going to take a bomb here. They're going to spill it, and uh, we're going to throw an intercept there, but thankfully, no advantage. Oh, that would have been killer had it... Um, being an advantage played. Thankfully, there wasn't. And then we just capitalise off that, just draw and pass, really. Uh, nothing too too fancy or flash there. I mean, I have been known to throw a few trick shots on um, at scrums, but no need for it. When you got the pace, the strength of uh, this Warrior side, you just just get them out to them, uh, get it out to them, really. We've, I do have to say, we've probably got one of the most perfectly balanced sides for Rugby League Life, too. The Warriors, we got really fast halves, who are also got pretty good kicking game. Um, you know, we've got a lot of speed in the back, we've got a lot of strength in the centres, which is perfect, uh, while not being slashes. The forwards are massive, uh, just palm for everybody, but have got great pace in the Rapira brothers. They got in the 90s um, in pace, so that's pretty funny. Um, so with with, with, with that last try, that pretty much seals it. And I know we're only like 25 minutes into the game, but there is no coming back. I don't really concede too many tries in, gen in general, let alone conceding like four or five tries or whatever it takes to get back. Oh, sorry, for them to win the game because we're going to keep scoring. Uh, they would do throw an intercept there. Um, the last one didn't count as a 40-20, but we went pretty darn close. They ended up getting like he went over the sideline anyway. So, you know, it was near enough uh, a 40-20. Mara here, he's going to go over the line. And I've talked about previous episodes about just skipping the video ref. And uh, unfortunately, didn't do it right here. But I think later in the episode, um, we possibly will start doing that. Uh, so yeah, with that, the trial was awarded. And then Johnson just slots it over as he does once again, yet again. Um, many, many times this episode. In previous episodes, 24 nil at halftime. We are absolutely flogging this storm. And so it makes it funny. Uh, it's, it's funny to me, like... Like, the Panthers, although they're in fourth in this game, i take that with a grain of salt because the game's quite strange. Um, but, yeah, the Storm have a lot of elite players. Um, you know, Smith, Slater, Kronk, even, like, Finch, Chambers, all those sort of guys, are, you know, pretty solid players. And we are beating the shit out of them, really. And Johnson kicks the goal. For a second, I thought it was missing there. I was going to say he actually misses for once. Uh, but even then, he still kicked it. Um, but yeah, Storm have a phenomenal side, and we're just putting the sword into them, and the sword was in them within like one set or so. Um, they're going to pick up a consolation try here. Couldn't get Hoffman to come across him, um, you know, make up for his error, which, you know, it was. It wasn't going for a 40-20 or whatever, but just one of the ones where um, a player got locked on. I couldn't come across. If the, there is a way to sort of, you know, stop the auto lock or whatever, uh, leave in the comments how to do that, because that'd be very much appreciate like appreciated, even though I uh, haven't really played a lot of Rugby League Live too, but just uh, something for people to know, if I could let people know how to do that, um, yeah, anyways, the game's wrapped up, we can see it's about 10 minutes to go, this is one of the last clips, so not too much longer in the game, but Felipe Mateo is going to palm off two people in a row, which happens, you know, nearly near enough to, like, never happening, um, so that was very interesting, especially on the goal line, a lot of times, you know, you can't palm off players, but they sort of defend a lot better one-on-one, -on -one, um, depending on the goal line. I mean, that's just like real life, but to palm off two players in a row, just incredible. And uh, a bit funny coming from Filetti Matteo. But anyways, uh, that's where the video is going to end. You can take a look at all the results from all the other games and the ladders coming up, but we all know what the ladder's like. Uh, the undefeated dream is alive still. The invincible season can happen. I think so. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, hopefully you have enjoyed it, if you could leave a like, it would be very much appreciated, 20 likes would be awesome, uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, at MrLukeMIT is my Twitter handle, face the page in the description below, and make sure you subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'll see you for the next video, go and watch them, bye guys.